Hey, I'm Black Dragon, and welcome to Black Dragon Biker TV. And as always, I'd like to thank you all for tuning in from wherever it is in the world that you happen to be. Uh, so we're here live at uh, the Dragon's Lair. I'd like to welcome you guys. And what we have here is uh, my bros, uh, my brothers from uh, the uh, uh, Colorado Springs chapter. Uh, and uh, they have ridden across the country, pounded all across the United States of America to come here to Atlanta to hang out with us. So I thought I would uh, let you guys talk to my brothers and uh, let them tell you a little bit about their ride. First of all, we'll start with an introduction. This is the uh, Black Sabbath, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm tongue tied. This is the Black Sabbath uh, uh, Colorado Springs chapter. And uh, first of all, uh, when, when, when did we uh, start that chapter? 2015 maybe? 2014. So uh, we started that chapter up in 2014, and uh, I'm going to just uh, introduce the fe fellows. We'll start with the president, President Thor. How y'all doing? Here you go, man. Grab the microphone. Introduce yourself. Thor, uh, one of the original members of the Colorado Springs chapter. Um, just doing what we love to do, get out and ride. That's, no, I'm yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is Major, secretary for the Olympic City chapter. Uh, we did a 2,000 mile trip thus far, and uh, we got another 2,000 more to go. So we just out pounding. If you're in the city near um, near where we're gonna be, let us know. Where y'all gonna be? <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna hit uh, Miami, Tampa, Memphis, and we'll probably swing back through Atlanta if we can. Yeah, Roger that. This is Shy Town. Um, hey, Shy Town from the Shy. Yeah. Now living in Colorado Springs, Look Olympic Chirac. City. <laughs> Shy town. <laughs> yeah, but we are here rolling, pounding, and uh, it's been great. Um, I left uh, last Monday, uh, and these guys left the following Thursday. So I've been hitting it hard uh, solo. Now we got reconnected over here at Brother Hardcore's house and uh, brought us back together. So now we're rolling uh, together, and uh, we're heading down to Florida. See the, the water and some people and have a good time. I rose down there, Pensacola. Uh, coming back up, I think we're going to hit uh, a few places, Tennessee for certain. And we heard there's some things going on over in Tennessee. So we're looking to have uh, partake in some of that. All right, shot town out. What's going on? Offset, Olympic City. I don't respect nation. You know what I'm saying? Out here having fun, pounding miles. Happy to be back in Georgia. I used to call Smyrna home, you know. So enjoying the nice weather. Finally get to take off these jackets. <laughs> you know, no rain, sunshine. Yeah, just out having a good time with the bros. So you guys went through rain and snow. Uh, did y'all actually have some snow, bros? Yeah, we had snow once we hit Missouri. Um, we hit. We started the rain in Kansas. Rolled through the whole way. Hit snow in Missouri. Kept riding. We didn't get to where we was going until 22 hours later. So this is the middle of May. This is the end of May, beginning of June, and you guys are riding in uh, snow from Colorado. Uh, so what was that like? Was that your? I, I know that's not the first time y'all ridden in snow, but what was that like? No, it wasn't the first time we ridden in snow, but um, it was an experience being up. You know, riding. I mean, we did 1,300 miles in the rain. So once we hit Kansas. Uh, it was started raining. It was about one o'clock in the morning, so it was already hard to see. Um, from there, we hit Missouri, where the sun had come up a little bit, but then it was snow. Uh, rode out of that, hit uh, Illinois, where it was still raining. Hit Indiana. It was a light mist. Got to Naptown. It was a pour down all the way into Cincinnati. So, a 17-hour trip that should have took us, you know, 17 hours took us 22 hours. Oh my goodness. What were you thinking about? What, what were you thinking about when you saw all that rain, all that snow? What What were you Were you loving the ride? <laughs> well, actually, I was on the other part. I was down in the south, southern part of the country. Well, they were up there. That was during the solo because they left Thursday going north, right north. And so I didn't see all the snow. I did get a lot of rain, um, over two hundred some miles with rain. Um, and there was a time when, too, I did have to pull over because. 
So it was serious. The rain was serious. So at, at all times, you always got to be smart when you're out there riding in the inclement weathers um, and uh, do what's right so you can ride again when tomorrow. Right. And the next time. So what was the snow like for you? I put you like this. Pitch black outside, middle of the night. <laughs> Thor pulls over and say, you see those clouds? First off, there's no moon. No sunlight. No clouds. Well, I let Major finish telling the story, though. Can't see any clouds. He's like, we're going to see him put on rain gear. So I'm talking trash. I'm like, I don't see no clouds. I don't smell nothing. We better not get no, I don't want no rain. We better get rain. 20, down, 20 miles down the road, rain. But Major, Major can tell the story. <laughs> yeah, so so we, we pull over in a, um, uh, a carport, a car wash. And I immediately put my kicks down, down. I'm like, hey, Thor, you know, I was like, hey, man, what you doing, man? This is it's one o'clock in the morning. What you trying to wash your bike for? We got a lot of riding to do. <laughs> he said, come here, man, young man. Let me holler at you. He took me outside, put his arm around me. He said, you see those clouds right there? I said, yeah, I ain't seen nothing. It's pitch black outside. <laughs> he said, see how they dark? I said, yeah, I see it. And I said, now look over there. You see how it's darker? Yeah, I, I said. <laughs> he said, it's about the rain. You need to put your rain suit on. So we getting dressed. I rushed up over to the offset. I'm like, hey, man, Chris, bullshit. <laughs> I said, uh, I'm cold anyway, so it's just another layer. So I'm, I'm going to listen. I was like, I think he just wanted to see we had our rain suits. I said, 20 minutes into the ride, man, it started pouring down. I was like, yeah, my fucker was right. <laughs> <laughs> Fresh knows what he's talking about, huh? <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy. It's pitch black outside. How do you see some rain clouds? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's that intuition that comes from riding out there all them years. So let me ask you this. Uh, so when you noticed the snow, because y'all had rain gear, did y'all have snow gear too? We didn't have snow gear. So we had our leather chaps on and our leather jackets underneath our rain suits. Plus, I mean, sweatshirts, sweatpants, under armor, boots. Um, so, I mean, we was chilly. But, I mean, we was able to get through there safely, uh, slowed our ride up because, you know, we could only do about 55, 60 miles an hour. But um, we got through that safely, and then we was able to pick it up another 10 miles an hour once it started raining. But it was just a slow ride, slow, cold ride. Slow, cold ride. The slow-ass, cold-ass run. <laughs> so uh, what made you guys decide to, to roll across the country? What What is the uh, uh, goal here? What are you all trying to accomplish, Brad? We just uh... – just getting out and enjoying time with each other. You know what I'm saying? One, one thing my chapter, and I know the East region does, um, we like to get out and ride our shit. So just riding our bikes, putting miles down, seeing everybody, that's what we join for, and that's what we like to do. Yeah. So uh, now, how long y'all been out on the road, and how much uh, y'all been out a week now, maybe? How long y'all been out on the road? We left Thursday, did 1,300 miles, stopped in Cincinnati, uh, spent some time with family and friends for a day and a half, jumped up uh, Sunday morning, headed down here to Atlanta. Uh, we got a late start, but um, we was able to knock that out in about seven and a half hours. Uh, Brother Hardcore took care of us, fed us, gave us a place to sleep, uh, plenty of alcohol, um, spades, dominoes, dropped some knowledge on us. And we woke up about nine o'clock this morning and, you know, couldn't be here and not see the Dragon's Lair. And then uh, visit a couple more chapters and then we'll head south down to Tampa today. Hopefully we'll get there about 7, 30, 8 o'clock. So y'all going to go to Macon Chapter and hang out with them for a while over at the Black House? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, uh, yes, sir. Yeah, I took off that Monday before they did and headed uh, to uh, Texas. Yeah, I did Fort Worth, uh, met up with couple of those brothers out there then Fort Hood left Fort Hood uh for Houston and uh stayed out there with those brothers out there um had a great time uh, I, I want to thank Houston's for the hospitality um I left Houston uh for oh New Orleans yeah I had to go to New Orleans and uh I had never been to New Orleans had driven by, but never stopped and actually walked uh, Bourbon Street. But uh, my bros out there, they squared me away up there and kind of, you know, bust my cherry and <laughs> had a great time. The food was phenomenal. Um, it was great. And then uh, 
went to Mississippi and with my two adult sons and then headed here uh, where we caught up with, I caught up with these guys. So now we're a pack now and we're going to roll together. So it should be awesome. So what's it like being able to stop damn near every 400 miles pretty much and, and hit a Black Sabbath chapter? How, what, what's that like? Oh, it's great. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, that's that's the business right there. It gives you, I mean, a reason to be, actually be out there on the road, you know, to, to expand that camaraderie and uh, kind of get familiar with their area, as you know, yours and share. And as we continue to do that, I mean, I can only that that's just more bike awareness, really. I mean, uh, visibility for us, you know, out there on the highways and the byways. Yeah, one of the things there. I liked about it is um. Yeah, we build more relationships, more bonds and things like that. But it shows the growth. It shows, you know, um, where the Black Sabbath Nation has, has started and where it's gotten to. And it also lets you know when you in those certain areas and we don't have any mighty Black Sabbath chapters where we can still grow. So, um, you know, get out on your bikes, exp you know, saying expand. That's that's what we out here to do. So believe it or not, in 1995, the founder of the Mighty Black Sabbath Motorcycle Club Nation, Paul Pep Perry, uh, the father of us all, he had this dream that you guys are doing. And he intimated this to me uh, at a time uh, when we both got kicked out of our homes. I got kicked out of my house by my woman. His woman kicked him out of his house. We were here. We were at our clubhouse at 4280 Market Street. And we would sleep on the floor of the clubhouse because it was cool. It was like 100 degrees in the middle of the summer. And uh, we'd sleep on the floor. And he would tell me, the story of how he wanted a national or international motorcycle club known for riding big distances from state to state that everybody would respect for the way that they rode. And so when he hears stories like this, when he sees these guys started this motorcycle club when they were like 17 or 18, just young guys getting married 50 years ago, they had no idea that this is be what the Black Sabbath would. They, could you imagine a 17 year old envisioning this chapters all across the country, people everywhere riding, loving, living this culture that they started. So a lot of times when the father is watching, he's at, he's crying. He gets on, he gets on the phone. He's like, Oh man, my, my, I'm just crying tears of joy just to see what you young men are doing out here. Uh, although uh, y'all are, what are y'all are all, some kind of army or some shit. Well, no, army. <laughs> hell no, hell no. An army or some shit. Air, Air Force all oh. day, baby. A, a part time, I'm a part time military guy and some army motherfuckers. I mean, <laughs> army rule. Yeah. Yeah. Army. <laughs> army. Yeah. Yeah. Well, somebody had to. Uh, we Navy guys. We know y'all are around. <laughs> After we. To destroy the beachhead and stuff, we might allow y'all to build a base somewhere. But we love you. We're all on the same team. <laughs> <laughs> Look here, man. Uh, the father is incredibly proud of y'all. Hardcore of uh, the Atlanta. Hardcore, why don't you come over and say a couple words, man? Come over. Hardcore from the uh, Atlanta chapter is uh, the host here. But you got to come get in front of the camera, bro. Over here. This way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, we just want. Uh, we're going to have the president of the Atlanta chapter. You guys don't hardly hardly ever see him. Um, but uh, I don't know. Guys, I just want to let you know. I'm so excited and I'm so damn proud of you. Just, I know, it's something y'all do. Y'all don't need me to be proud of y'all. It's something y'all do. Y'all ride. That's why y'all came in. Y'all ride. Y'all are riders. But I'm so effing proud to, to know that I participated in uh, – helping the father's dream come true by finding you guys all over the country. And you guys participated by taking this shit to the whole next effing level. I'm so proud of y'all. And I'm going to just uh, let the, uh, the, uh, the, the East coast, our East coast regional vice president and president of the Atlanta chapter hardcore have a few words. Uh, I don't respect Black Dragon. Uh, in all fairness and protocol, the former East Coast Regional Vice President is here with us as well. So before I say anything, let me uh, bring on my former East Coast Vice President, Regional Vice President. Uh, 
<laughs> this is brother get him up atlanta chapter what's going on everybody honor respect to black dragon honor respect to my colorado springs brothers boot camp click in the house yes, sir. uh i appreciate you guys coming down you guys are some true ground and pounders um a lot of these cats that ride with us can learn a lot from you guys because uh i see y'all pounding all the time especially uh, i see y'all videos when y'all be up I don't know where y'all be at, but it looks like the same place that y'all take everybody in the cold to take somebody on the ride. <laughs> and I be like, they better motherfuckers than me. <laughs> I ain't fucking around. <laughs> y'all different. Y'all breed apart for real, and I love y'all. Thanks for coming. Appreciate you, Reading. So good morning, everybody. Uh, it's a blessed day in Atlanta, and uh, probably the first time in many, many years, especially since the start of COVID, that we've been able to host all three regions of the Black Sabbath in our clubhouse uh, here. And so this week we got the Mid-Central Regional Vice President Thor and uh, past President Chi-Town. A couple of new members here, the secretary. It's a real honor and privilege to be here with these guys. Been tracking them for days, uh, trying to see where they're going, looking forward to getting here. They made it here last night, uh, able to sit there in fellowship with the Atlanta chapter, looking forward to them riding down the Macon chapter. So it's just real good to be with these guys. And uh, when they leave today, I'm not going to cry like we did last time. I'm going to watch Shy cry this time. Uh, but it's real good to be here, and they're on their way to make it. So let me know, let me ask you this, Prez. Um, for you, what what does this brotherhood mean, and 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 what would you tell? There are so many people that want to be in motorcycle clubs, and they don't understand why we do what we do. So uh, you know, we have uh, President Thor, that's been a, a national uh, and a regional, and a president and a mentor. We've got you, uh, regional VP here. Explain to me the work you're doing on the ground, how it, how this sort of thing uh, is, is what it means to you as you do this as part of your life uh, and somebody that wouldn't understand why bikers do what we do, especially bikers that come together in clubs. What does that it mean to you? It uh, means a level of invincibility that is acquired by strength and unity. There's nothing so great about me in particular. I'm just a normal man. But with a chapter backing you and supporting you, and then you take that to a national level, uh, there's nothing we can't do from closing the gap from Colorado Springs all the way to Atlanta in 22, 23 hours through rain, sleet, and snow, or riding across that desert mountains of snow to get back home to San Diego. Biking means that you are at the top of the line. It's almost like being a whole world on your own where you know who you're dealing with, what to expect, and it's going to be reciprocated. I haven't seen some of these guys in two years due to COVID last year. However, I pick up with them last night like we hadn't missed a beat. That's my thoughts on the President Thor. Uh, for me, I looked at it more as the, the military aspect, um, the brotherhood and camaraderie that I was missing when I got out. Um, it's nothing like riding side by side in a curve at 90 miles per hour with somebody right there next to you. You can reach out and touch them with, for, for me, um, the brotherhood that we have and we ride across this, this country to see each other is, it equates to being in the military for me. Um, I just love doing it. Being a biker is one of the best decisions that I've made. You know what I'm saying? We, we all breed apart. And, and nobody can take that from us. Now, we all know about riding 90 miles in a curve, and so does Lil Major, because we told him so. <laughs> Hopefully, before this ride is over, uh, Thor will get him in a curve at 90 and out at about 100. <laughs> and, and, and we did that. <laughs> Listen, man, I, I just want you men to know I'm very proud to call y'all brothers. I'm very... Uh, proud of y'all's ride out here uh we're gonna have a patch for y'all uh that uh that make it over here y'all got a lot of our patches on this run you got the poseidon's uh disciples patch you probably got the snow bear disciples patch too for that ride in the snow you got the thousand mile uh patch the two thousand mile patch uh you might wind up with a gates of hell patch huh the one k in a day patch and the i can i came to atlanta patch so uh, one one thing that we like to do with our brothers that that ride is we like to uh, we adorn them with uh, almost like um almost like uh, military patches. We adorn them with the patches 
and you can see the stars under the, each patch for how many times they made the ride. So uh, these are his that he he just got. Uh, and we got uh, this is the Poseidon's Disciple patch for riding that 500 miles rain sleet, rain sleet. <laughs> he got that. Uh, so we got it, man. Uh, that, that's the is that the 1K in a day patch right here? This is uh, the Black Sabbath riding from night to uh, the rider riding from night to day. That's the 1,000 miles in a day patch. President Thor has all these patches and he's got the uh, stars under him. So we created those like a military uh, ribbons and medals so that we uh, acknowledge our brothers for what they've done. So I just want you guys to know, very proud of you. We said that about a thousand times and I uh, appreciate the hard work. And uh, you guys be safe on that ride. We're going to pray you all up out of here and uh, just keep on pounding. So if you guys see my brothers on the highway, make sure to holler at them uh, and holler at breed apart at them because that's what they are. Mighty Black Sabbath Motorcycle. Uh, Colorado. <laughs> there's back somebody called and screwed up my hate it when people call me during the middle of a of a lie but anyway the boot camp click uh here in atlanta heading down to florida uh to they're gonna go to mile marker zero and do that whole thing and then visit our pensacola chapter down there and then they're heading up out of here to do their thing any parting words gentlemen Nah, uh, I appreciate the hospitality and uh, finally getting to meet you, Hardcore. Uh, thank you for everything. Thank you for bringing me into your home and uh, giving us somewhere to sleep. It means a lot for you to take somebody in off the blessing of somebody else. So uh, that means a lot to me. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. And uh, till next time. Uh, I would say I appreciate your comments because I truly do. But you didn't come down to get a hospitality. You came home. So this is expected. We eat, we drink, we ride, we have fun and stuff. Real glad for y'all to be here in Atlanta. I know it's been two years since I've been up to Colorado Springs, but uh, you know why I ain't riding yet. But before the year is over, I'll be back up there to see y'all guys. Pike speed, baby. <laughs> Keep the rub on the road. That's all I got to say. Y'all got something to say? Y'all come out. <laughs> hey, uh, Chi-Town just saying, hey, um, it's always a pleasure to see family and, uh, you know, how it is today. You know, family is no, not, doesn't always have to be blood, but these brothers have proved it, um, every one of them. So, hey, keep the rubber on the road. Offset sign off. Catch you later, Atlanta. Get some miles in. Have fun. Be safe. Well, folks, uh, we've absolutely uh, appreciate having y'all. One more thing. Oh. Black Sabbath. Agree the park. Black Sabbath. Agree the park. You know. You know. You know. Hey, man, I really appreciate having you all on and uh, thank you all for coming and hanging out in the Dragon's Lair with us today. Uh, we've got gear, blackdragonsgear.com. Check us out over there. Our podcast is the Dragon's Lair Motorcycle Chaos. Anywhere you get podcasts, you'll be able to uh, listen to this broadcast uh, in your car, your truck, whatever, uh, as it'll be going up on the podcast in about an hour or so. Um, also, you'll be able to uh, get us on uh, the uh uh, bikerliberty.com, our online news magazine. Black Dragon Biker TV can be found on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Please like, follow, share, and subscribe. We absolutely appreciate having you, and uh, thanks for tuning in to us today. I'm Black Dragon. That's my two cents. Glad you guys got to meet the brothers. Leave your comments, your two cents in the comment section below. Hey, join our Discord channel. Our Discord channel, you'll be able to find the description in the description below, description area below. You'll be able to find the directions on how to join our um, Discord channel. I'm Black Dragon. Thanks for tuning in and get skinny. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm going to get on up there and see all the shit. Yeah, I got to go there. Yeah, she might go there. Yeah, I got to go there.
this time of year, yeah, it's nice, but shit, you ain't riding rain. 